welcome back to this new video tutorial today i am going to show you how we can use the pivot by function to generate the pivot table report in microsoft excel one of the major benefit of creating reports by using this pivot by function is the report will automatically update and refresh when we make change in the source data but in the traditional method of pivot table the pivot table report doesn't refresh automatically so to overcome this problem excel has introduced a new function that is pivot by here in this first sheet i have the source data of sales based on this source data i need to create here a report on total quantity sold in different cities and i have to also add the percentage of total for all cities this i can do with this pivot by function so first of all let's create a report on total quantity sold in different cities for this first of all you need to convert your data into the table here my data is already in the table format because when i click on the data the table design tab is activated where i have the name of the table that is sales data if your source data is not in table format then convert your data into table by using this table tool in the insert tab for that first of all you need to select your whole data then click on the insert tab then click on the table this will open a create table dialog box where you need to select my table has headers option then click on ok that will create a table from your data and this table design tab will be activated and here in the table name you can set up the name of the table after you do this go to this sheet and here use the pivot by function to generate the pivot table report so here press is equal to then type pivot by function open the bracket now in the row field we have to display the cities so here we have to select the city column of the sales data table so first of all give here the table name that is sales data when you type sell the table is suggested double click on the table name then open two square bracket first select this all option by double clicking close the square bracket then give a comma and open another square bracket then select the column header name that is the city so double click on city close two square brackets now give a comma this column field is not applicable here in this case because we don't have anything in the column field so give another comma to exclude this now here in the value we have to select the quantity column of the sales data table so select here sales data table first open two square brackets select all close square bracket then give a comma open another square bracket then select the column header that is the quantity sold now close two square brackets then give a comma now here in the function we have to select the function here we need the total that is why select the sum function here you can select other functions according to your requirement double click on the function to select then give a comma here in the field header if you want to show the column header then you can select this yes and show option by double clicking these other parameters here are optional you can close the bracket and press enter now the fever table report on city wise quantity sold is given this is a dynamic report if you make change here in the source data then it will automatically update let's go to the sales data and change the city name here just for example then this will automatically reflect here in the report here you see the new city is added so any change you make in the source will auto reflect in the report which is the major benefit so this is the way of generating the pivot table report by using the pivot by function now if you want to include the percentage of total beside this quantity sold then here you can double click on the formula then here go in the function remove this sum function from here then use the h stack function here bracket open then here in the array one of the h stack use the sum function give a comma in the array two of the h stack use here the percent of function 
double click on this percent of function to select then here a bracket will be opened automatically so remove this opening bracket type a closing bracket then press enter now you got the report on city wise total quantity sold and their percentage to the total here you need to convert this into percentage formatting by selecting this all then click on this percentage symbol now here you see the percent to total for every single values is given here so this is all about how to use the pivot by function in excel to generate the pivot table reports and this much for today's video thank you very much for watching we will again meet on next video tutorial